I'm Anil Kumar. Here is a practice question where we are going to use L'Hopital's rule to find the limit for indeterminate form. Question is, find limit as x approaches 1 for ln x divided by sine pi, in x, pi x. Now, if I substitute 1 for x, what do I get? Uh, ln 1 over sine pi, right? ln 1 is 0 and sine pi is also 0. So we have a form 0 over 0, which is the indeterminate form. And therefore, we know in such cases, the limit of the function as x approaches a in general will be same as the ratio of their derivatives quotient, right? So, so the limit of uh, quotient of functions will be same as the limit of quotient of their derivatives that is L'Hopital's rule if we have indeterminate form so there are different kinds of indeterminate forms we'll deal with zero by zero in this particular example right now since we know we can apply this rule let's do it so we have limit x approaches one ln x over sine pi x now derivative of ln x is what Limit x approaches 1, derivative of ln x is 1 over x. How about derivative of sine pi x, which is cos pi x times pi, derivative of inside function, right? So let me write down here first. We have limit x approaches 1, derivative d dx of ln x divided by derivative of sine pi x, right? So that is the rule. So you could have ratio of the derivatives. Derivative of ln x is 1 over x for sine pi x is pi times cos x. Uh, cos pi x, I'm sorry. So let me write pi now. Cos pi x. If I substitute 1, what do I get? I get 1 over 1 divided by pi times cos of pi, right? So as you know, cos pi, cos function is kind of like this, right? So, so cos pi is minus 1, right? Cos pi is minus 1. So we could write this cos pi as minus 1. So we get this is equal to 1 over pi times minus 1 or minus 1 over pi. So that is how you get your solution. So therefore, we can write limit as x approaches 1 for ln x over sine pi x is equals to minus 1 over pi, right? I hope the steps are clear. So we are taking time to understand as we begin working with L'Hopital's rule. But soon, I think once you get some practice, it will be easier. And in some examples, I will not go through these steps. We'll straight away write the derivatives and go ahead since I want to limit my solutions to half a page. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.